Hello everyone, in this video we will see about forebearing and backbearing. We will solve lot of examples which came in competitive exams like gate and engineering services. And we will also see how to calculate angle from bearing and vice versa. And we will also see seeing about local attraction. Now first what is bearing of a line? Bearing of a line is an angle with respect to the reference meridian. Suppose we have a survey line AB and this is the reference meridian which is pointing towards north. So this is the bearing. Let us say this is theta 1. So this is bearing. Now when the bearing is measured from A towards B, it is called forebearing. So forebearing here is theta 1. It is measured clockwise. If you see from the reference meridian, we are measuring it clockwise. It is measured A towards B, from A to B. And if you are measuring it from B to A, then it is called back bearing. So this is pointing towards north reference meridian. Now we have this angle. So this is theta 2. It is also measured clockwise. So for bearing of line AB, forebearing is measured A towards B and back bearing is measured B towards A. Both are measured clockwise and they are theta 1 and theta 2 in whole circle bearing terms. Suppose you want to represent the same in reduced bearing terms. So this was forebearing theta 1. So this is in north and east quadrant. So it is north theta 1 east. And back bearing lies in south and west quadrant. If you see, it lies in this quadrant. So this is the angle which we are looking for. Suppose this is alpha. The reduced bearing will be south alpha west. And you can convert to whole circle bearing or reduced bearing however you want it. Now what is the bearing of line BA? If suppose this is the line BA, forebearing be will be measured from B towards A because we are measuring the bearing of line BA. So here forebearing is theta 2 and back bearing will be theta 1 for line BA. So you have to note the term here properly whether it is AB or BA. Now what is the relation between forebearing and back bearing? So here you have forebearing of the line theta 1 and you know this is back bearing of the line theta 2 of line AB. Now you know this is 180 degree. This portion of this straight line is 180 degree. So this is nothing but theta 2. If you see the picture here, here it is theta 2 and similarly this is theta 2. So theta 2 equal to theta 1 plus 180 degree. So theta 2 here is back bearing equal to forebearing plus 180 degree. And in this case if you see theta 1 equal to so if you minus this portion you will get theta 1 here so here what was theta 1 theta 1 was back bearing of line BA back bearing equal to 4 bearing minus 180 degree So we have the equation back bearing equal to forebearing plus or minus 180 degree. So if forebearing is less than 180 degree, you should use plus sign. Here forebearing was less than 180 degree, so it was you use plus sign here. If it is greater than 180 degree, you should use minus sign. If this formula is very confusing, you can always draw and find out that is the best way. Now let us see what is local attraction. You saw that back bearing equal to forebearing 
plus or minus 180 degree. Sometimes there will be local attraction present due to some magnetic forces nearby. If there is a huge magnetic force nearby, the magnetic needle will be distorted. So, and the difference between back bearing and fore bearing will not be 180 degree. It may be 181 degree or 182 degree. Some 1 or 2, de two degrees difference will be there. That is known as local attraction. Based on local attraction, you will get some questions like this. This was asked in gate exam. So here, they have given the following bearings are observed while traversing with a compass. So for different line, A, B, C, D, E and A. So when traversing in this whole area, they have found out the fore bearing and back bearing of each line. So they are telling that there is some lo local attraction present. So if local attraction is present, what is the corrected fore bearing of line BC? First we have to find out the difference between each fore bearing and back bearing, whether it is 180 degree or not. If you see here, this difference is not 180 degree and this difference is also not 180. This difference is also not 180, but here 258 degree 30 minutes minus 78 degree 30 minutes which is 180 degree. So here back bearing equal to four bearing minus 180 degree. You can just randomly calculate the differences here and find out the one which has 180 degree difference. So at point DE there is no lo local attraction present. So at D and E there is no local attraction which means the bearings of D and E are correct. So if bearing of D and E are correct, the back bearing of CD also will be correct and the fore bearing of EA also will be correct. It is because if you check this line, says this is DE. So we are saying there is no local attraction at D and there is no local attraction at E. If you further draw a line EA, so this fore bearing will be correct because at E there is no local attraction. And similarly, if suppose this is C and this is the back bearing of line CD which will be correct because at D there is no local attraction. So all these four marked things are correct. Now based on this we can reverse the process and find out what is the bearing of line BC. So at CD back bearing is 161 degree 45 minutes. So what is the fore bearing? Fore bearing will be 161 degree 45 minutes plus 180 degree. We know the formula back bearing equal to fore bearing plus or minus 180 degree. So we are using plus sign here because minus sign as you see it will obviously lead to less than 0. So you can directly use plus sign here which will give you the answer 161 degree 45 minutes if you add 180 degree to it it will become 341 degree 45 minutes. So what is the difference between this and this earlier CD new CD minus old CD which is 341 degree 45 minutes minus 340 degree 30 minutes. So the difference is 1 degree and 15 minutes. I think everyone is aware that 1 degree has 60 minutes. So 45 minus 30 15 minutes and 341 minus 340 1 degree 15 minutes. So this is positive 1 degree 15 minutes is the correction. So same correction you apply for BC also. BC already they are saying back bearing is 227 degree 30 minutes. So correct BC will be this plus 1 degree and 15 minutes which will give you 228 degree 45 minutes. So now what is the fore bearing of BC? You know back bearing equal to fore bearing 
plus or minus 180 degree so here you will use negative sign as this is greater than 180 degree so 228 degree minus 180 degree will give you four bearing of BC which is 48 degree 45 minutes so the correct answer is option D so the key here is to find out which points do not have local attraction if DE does not have local attraction then this point and this point won't have local attraction and similarly back bearing of DE back bearing of CD and four bearing of EA will not have local attraction and you can reverse the process and find out now let us solve one more example so here they have given magnetic declination of 2 degrees east and they have also given magnetic 4 bearing of the line AB as N 79 degree 50 minutes east. It is always best practice to convert reduced bearing to whole circle bearing before solving any problem. So here it lies in the first quadrant. So here theta is 79 degree 50 minutes and whole circle bearing also will be the same as it lies in the first quadrant. So four bearing of line AB is 79 degree 50 minutes. They are saying that there was local attraction at A. This point A there was local attraction. So they took another point O where there was no lo local attraction. Now they have given four bearing and back bearing of AO and OA. So we know the difference between AO and OA should be 180 degree. First let us convert these two into whole circle bearing. South 52 degree 40 minutes east. South and east. So it lies in this quadrant and they have given reduced bearing. So when you convert to whole circle bearing it will be this hole is 90, 90, 180 degree minus 52 degree 40 minutes which is equal to 127 degree 20 minutes, 60 minutes 40 minutes so it is 20 minutes. You can do the subtraction and see and similarly north 50 degree 20 minutes west. So here it lies in fourth quadrant. So whole circle bearing will be 360 degree minus reduced bearing which is 50 degree and 20 minutes which is equal to 309 degree 40 minutes. So if you subtract 4 bearing of line AO and OA, 4 bearing of line OA will be nothing but back bearing of line AO. So the difference should be 180 degree. 309 degrees 40 minutes minus 127 degree 20 minutes. If you take the difference it will be 2 degree 20 minutes. So there is some local attraction present at A as they have said that is why there is difference 2 degree and 20 minutes. So the correction is positive 2 degree 20 minutes. This is the correction. So you apply this correction to AB also. So four bearing magnetic four bearing of AB is 79 degree 50 minutes plus 2 degree 20 minutes which is equal to 82 degree 10 minutes. Now they have given some magnetic declination and they have asked for true four bearing of line. We know that two bearing minus magnetic bearing equal to declination. So here they have given 2 degree east. You know that east is positive and west is negative. So true, true bearing equal to magnetic bearing plus 2 degree. So 82 degree 10 minutes plus 2 degree which is 84 degree 10 minutes. So the answer is option C. 84 degree 10 minutes if you convert to reduce bearing it will lie in first quadrant only so it is n 84 degree 10 minutes east so this is the answer